Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly May 31st through June 6th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So, yeah, you are dealing with uh, someone in particular. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Or this is your um, business partner. It could be your colleague. could be a uh, business associate in some way could be a financial advisor you know some someone along those lines or you could be assuming the energy of the king of pentacles it could be you you know assuming uh, something in your life taking control of your finances and just basically feeling like you've got it this week right we have the uh, three of cups here this is a celebration card or a union card you could be celebrating your success because like I said the king of pentacles is someone who's uh, got their finances under control and we also have the ace of swords here uh, the ace of swords is uh, a brand new beginning or it could be you cutting somebody out of your life and uh, therefore feeling like uh, you finally are moving on from something or this could be a conversation uh, you could be setting a record straight with uh, this earth sign or a financial advisor or someone a business partner and this will cause for some sort of celebration um, so this looks really good even if you are not assuming the king of pentacles energy then you've got uh, something to celebrate anyway Sagittarius, if you are, are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Hermit, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Fire Sign, Aries, a Leo or another Sagittarius. You know what guys, it's one of those spreads where I have, where I have really mixed feelings. See, we've got the Five of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands in this uh, spread, most likely you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Five of Swords, in most cases, it's all about getting into a fight, and the type of a fight where one of you has to win at any cost, right? Every once in a while, the Five of Swords also means just uh, leaving something behind, just dropping it, or cutting your losses and walking away right so um, this is some kind of a conflict or some kind of an unpleasant situation no matter how you look at it right we also have the hermit card it could be um, earth sign I mean uh, Virgo in particular you're dealing with or it could be you or the other person you know taking some time off to think about something, to contemplate about something. So that goes along very well with the Five of Swords if we interpret the Five of Swords as someone who is walking away, just dropping everything and walking away. Because the Hermit is also someone who is uh, taking some time off and, you know, starting some kind of a thought process here. So that's that. But on the right side of this equation, <laughs> On the right side of the spread, we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? The Two of Cups is all about unconditional soulmate love, where feelings are mutual, the two people are on the same page when it comes to their feelings towards each other, right? And we've got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is all about uh, abundant and stable uh, relationships such as marriage, and since this is... Uh, an established love relationship spread then the ten of pentacles symbolizes exactly that so you see you see my uh, mixed feelings here there is love here but there is something unsettled something is going to happen this week where it could cause uh, 
some kind of a problem, some kind of an issue, or someone is just, you know, walking away to think about stuff, perhaps about this relationship, if they still want to be in it, but they do realize that there's still love. So take it as resonates, uh, leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out. Hopefully, whatever it is, the two of you can uh, resolve the issue and move forward. Sagittarius, if you're on a quest for new love, this bird is for you. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I have a feeling, Sagittarius, uh, that you have two people approaching you this week. One of them is uh, new or more or less new, and the other one is uh, your ex. We've got the judgment card in the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past and uh, trying to reestablish a relationship with you. So, uh, like I said, one of them could be an air sign and the other one is a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. The main idea here is that most likely you will uh, deal with two different suitors. And uh, the Ten of Wands here tells me that this is a huge burden for you. Well, I can understand why, Sagittarius, right? Perhaps your heart is still with your ex, at least a little bit, or perhaps you still haven't let them go and here comes a, a new person. And uh, the new person will most likely be on the same level with you, you will be vibing with this person because it is a burden for you. Um, another way I can interpret the spread is that this is uh, both knights are representing the same person and uh, this person is from your past so this becomes an X spread only and it could be this person could be uh, any sign not just uh, air or water and uh, the two knights combined, uh, this is them rushing back into your life re because they realized uh, how much they love you, perhaps. And they are here to uh, make you this uh, offer. They're offering you their cup of love. And uh, the Knight of Cups usually represents a very genuine, very uh, sincere offer. But that still doesn't change the fact that this is a burden for you. Perhaps um, the two of you had a major fallout and uh, you're not really sure whether you want to accept this person back into your life or not. Um, so um, hopefully you'll be able to make the right decision for you and if this person is still... If you still think that there could be something with this person, then uh, I think it would be safe to... Uh, Give them another shot, but it will it'll be completely up to you. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Sagittarius, this week. We've got the Ace of Cups, uh, the Seven of Cups, and the Magician. You could be dealing with uh, anybody, as long as that anybody makes you a very sincere and emotional love offer. <laughs> We've got the Ace of Cups here. This. Uh, is one of the best cards, if not the best card, when it comes to new love offers. We have the Magician here as well. This is a card of somebody who is actively manifesting something and perhaps they're manifesting you into their life. It could be a brand new person, it could be someone from the past, and uh, this offer is going to confuse the heck out of you. <laughs> See the Seven of Cups right there in the middle, and uh, this is a card of a confusion, this is a card of someone who doesn't know what to do. Or perhaps someone who is hypnotized. Because uh, the magician is a trickster. They, could, they have all their tools in their, at their disposal and they could be um, you know, dangling all these different carrots in front of you. <laughs> and uh, that will uh, put you in a headspace where you're not sure what to do or you'll be bedazzled by them. So be very careful. Like I said, the magician could represent a trickster and they, their offer is so, so tempting and it looks really, really good. Um, so make a try to make a, a decision at some point uh, whether you want to accept this offer or not. But, um, like I said, the Ace of Cups is most likely genuine. Perhaps they're just 
trying to uh, sweeten the deal a little bit to make it uh, more presentable. They'll try really hard. So um, think about it, make a decision, and uh, if you uh, can see yourself together with this person, then give them a good green light. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.